Hey y'all, Candice here from Little Steps to Big Happy. I like to talk about health and fitness for moms. So what I kind of wanted to talk about is how you can be active and fit if you hate going to the gym. Um, I know a lot of people are not into the gym. Maybe it makes you feel uncomfortable. Maybe you don't want to pay the price. Maybe you don't have one near you. Or like for me, I haven't had a gym membership since 2013 because childcare is always an issue for me. Either I'm not willing to pay more for it or I'm not even always comfortable with placing my kids with people that I don't know very well. I'm kind of weird about that stuff. So, um, you know, for some people a gym is an issue, but I'm happy to say you can still be fit and active without it. And so today I kind of wanted to talk about the ways that I have kind of gotten around this idea of exercising without a gym. So the very first thing, always my very first suggestion is hop on YouTube, hop on Pinterest, start looking up workouts. They're free. There's all ability levels. There is endless options. There's so many to search for that, you know, you can never go wrong hopping on YouTube or Pinterest and looking up some workouts. That's great. You know, always can find what you need. I mean, goodness, hula hoop. Um, Pilates, yoga, strength training, um, training with weights, bodyweight exercises, dance, like so many options for you. Another recommendation I have is check out a fitness app. Um, I have tried Fit On. That is a free one. That one is really well. It works really well. It's super easy. Um, well, easy to use, right? The workouts can kick your butt, but <laughs> the um, app is really easy to use. Um, Active is one of my other favorites. That one's not free, but it is like really really good quality they have great music for you um, I always feel like when I use Aptive I got somebody like a little cheerleader in my ear almost like a personal coach kind of pumping me up and getting me going so that's a really good one but yeah check out a fitness app those are really good it's on your phone it's always at the touch of your fingertips um, another good one that I've heard of that I know a lot of people were like is Beachbody Beachbody likes to, I think, call themselves like the Netflix of workouts. They have so many programs. They're very well designed, and you can have it like you pay for your membership and it's at the touch of your fingers. Absolutely at your convenience. You can do it at home whenever works for you, and that's really, really nice. You know, you're not stuck to some other outside timeline. You can do it when you want. Um, something else I've done is literally just getting outside and going walking, going running, going hiking. You guys would be surprised at how well that helps you, like in terms of your exercise, how fit and active and strong you can get just from doing things like that. Just getting outside and moving your body. Um, another good recommendation is trying a sport. If you don't like traditional gyms, but sports, you know, they're a lot more fun. They're, you know, you get kind of that game aspect. You get a lot more time with other people. So it becomes a much more social experience. And so that makes it very enjoyable. Absolutely. Like try a sport. I know a lot of places you can find like adult soccer, um, softball, baseball, kickball, all of those types of things. They really help to kind of get you active and you get a lot of that movement and exercise and all those wonderful benefits, but they have nothing to do with the gym. And then, you know, if you really like the gym idea, but you don't like a gym itself, or, you know, maybe you can't afford a membership, um, start investing in, you know, your own home equipment. I built up my gym equipment very slowly, but you can still, without spending a lot of money, get really everything that you need. Like, I've got some weights, I've got some resistance bands, and I've got... Um, a spin bike and a treadmill and that's it but that is all that I need to still get a great workout on a regular basis from my home I don't have to go to a gym so I don't have to worry about commuting I don't have to worry about childcare. I don't have to worry about if I you know brushed my hair <laughs> when I roll out of bed I can just roll out of bed and get to it without having to deal with all that other stuff and it's you know it's something that's worked really, really well for me so if you were like, well, I would love to exercise, or I should exercise, or I want to, but I don't have a gym. That doesn't have to be a problem. That doesn't have to be something that's holding you back. You know, open your mind a little bit, try to get a little more creative, and start looking around for what are other ways that you can exercise and be fit. And that's all I got. Short one today, but I just kind of want to throw that in your mind that no gym, no problem. You can still work out well, be active and fit um, at home. So I hope you all are doing well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.